Now, I'm pretty sure that your children at home during this lockdown period are asking you at least 500 times for a snack or two because I know that myself, Clem, I always ask myself for a snack. But <laughs> the funny thing is, um, when you allow them to reach out for a snack at home in the pantry, they're going to reach out for the least healthy thing, the most sugary thing. But lucky for us, Woolies, okay, has a few ideas on the kinds of snacks that we can make with our children at home. And we are about to make a healthy owl. And what other animal is that? Okay, can you look at this? Can you see what it is? Yes. Don't hurt my feelings now because I made that. A an owl and a... Uh, what's that other one? A frog! Yay! Got it! <laughs> okay, so we're going to get started. This is like a great activity to do with your kids. Yesterday yes. as I was walking, coming back from work, walking down the passage, I heard the mom going, and today we're going to paint. And the kid was like, but we painted yesterday <laughs> and the day before. And she was like, we're going to paint! Today so, we are painting, okay? So guys, listen, we're not painting today. We're making these amazing animal toasts, okay? So we made yes. that fancy, fancy toast earlier. Mm. Now this is the my favorite one, actually. It's safe for kids, but actually I had so much fun doing this. So, I got some beautiful avo smashed down on my toast already. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see exactly what I'm doing to camera. Yes. But I got the eyes going first. With your eggs, your boiled eggs? Yeah, because essentially you don't wanna be giving them like things that you know is not really good for them to be adding mm -hmm. to their toast. Give them the healthy things that you want them to eat yes. and they're gonna get like involved and they're gonna be like, I made this, I'm gonna eat it anyway. Exactly, I was about to say like kids, get really excited when they are allowed to make things in the kitchen by themselves, for themselves. And they'll eat it, even if it's healthy. Exactly, as long as they made it. exactly. It's all about the trickery. I'm ready for parenthood. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a parent yet, but I'm ready for the parenthood. I know it's practicing. all... We are practicing. This is the practice round. This is the practice. This is for practice. So there we go. We've got some eyes on there. Bring it down. Why does my other frog look like more of a frog? Anyway, you know what? We're just doing our things. Giving <laughs> him keep some... Keep it like, moving. Keep it moving. Keep it flowing. Okay, boom. First frog out. Done. Done. Okay, then we're gonna make a sweet one. Did you use something to shape your circles or anything, or is it just freehand? All right, we're actually, you know, let's actually talk about that. Mm. So I took some salami. You can use some cold, um, any cold meat, like a beef or a chicken or salami. And I just took like a little round shape and I used a knife just to shape it that out like that. Okay. Just to get the rounds. Essentially, you can put the whole piece of salami on there and just that's see what true. happens. You know, mm. it's kids. And then cut a little feet over there. So I got the eyes and the black olives. That's for the little, little eyes and the nostrils. But yeah, and a little bit of salt in there. Maybe a little bit of chives. Because I mean, the frogs are green. Frogs are green. Love it. Just like that. Now, our sweet one. So we got some peanut butter. Willie's also have an amazing selection of nut butter. So if whatever you have at home, you've got almond butter, the macadamia butter, get that out. Raul was talking about those good fats. He endorsed them. Nature Boy approved. Boom. Ding, we've got Nature Boy stamp. That's him. I hear him. I hear him. There we go. So we're going to build our... This one is... What is this one again? Oh, it's the owl. Okay, cool. We're doing the owl now using... a. Peanut, what if someone is allergic to peanut butter? Can we um, replace it with something Why else? Why are you throwing me under the bus live on TV? I'm sorry, maybe like, like butter or yes. jam? Yes, so absolutely. Take it out. You don't have to use peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what else would be a great... What about... Okay. Cheese spread. And then you make it a savoury owl. And you take Ooh. the other stuff, you just like, adapt it and make it a savoury owl. That's true. Friend, Bluetooth, high five, Blah. done. Okay, so now let's put... We're starting with the feathers at the bottom. Okay. So we got some banana. Sliced banana. Sliced banana. This is also, like, like I said, it's a great way to get kids eating fresh mm. ingredients right now. And I mean, I shopped all these things. All these ingredients are available in Woolly stores right now. So go and get it. Have fun in the kitchen. Do the right thing and head over to taste.co.za for these incredible um, ideas and also to our website, expressoshow.com. Right, I'm doing this like as a 30 second challenge. Like, I, I think I'm doing all right. I think I'm doing all right. You're ah, doing the pretty beak well. Is upside down. The beak is upside down. And these are my favorite fruits, actually. But are I'm they? not sure about bananas on bread. Bananas on bread. Banana and peanut butter. I mean, Alvis even had a sandwich of banana, peanut butter, and bacon. Excuse me? It's called the Alvis sandwich. Wow, and people actually eat it. Yeah, Uncle Tom. Banana, peanut butter, and bacon. If you guys have tried it before, please let me know how it is on our social media platforms using the hashtag Expresso Show. How are we going so far? We're good. Our also, you know what? I want to know on social media. People, mm. let me know what are the weirdest things you've had on a sandwich. I love yes. that. I, I love when people do that though. I know chips is very popular. Yes, absolutely. Chips are very popular. Um, fruit, obviously popular. Now we have our owl, owl. and our frog. Absolutely owl and a frog it. done. The kids will be happy. I'm not gonna lie, I had so much fun doing this more than the kids. I mean, I might take over this activity without the kids <laughs> to sit on the side. I have Watch a lot of me. FOMO. But if you wanna see how you can do this, make sure to join us on our Facebook Live after the show. This is such cool ideas and you can have peace of mind at home that the kitties will be snacking. 
the healthy way. Go to taste.co.za for 10 wholesome and healthy snack ideas for the kids that won't leave them on a sugar high.